returning kick from Ann Arbor after this. Learning a whole lot here from Jim Harbaugh and company at Michigan. The pro style offense on first down and 10 from the 15. And on the ground, get used to a big load of Karan Higdon down the sideline. Knocked out of the 35-yard line. Into this Jim Harbaugh offense. 18 yards on first down and 10 for Higdon. And it buys a much better field position now. Here's Patterson throwing on the run and completing the Ben Mason. Hurdles a defender. And he's taken down shy of midfield. Ben Mason, everybody. Gain of 15. 6'3", 254 pound fullback. He doesn't catch the ball a whole lot, but you want to start fast. We talked about that. Not starting fast against Notre Dame and Northwestern. This will get the sideline energy. It's in trouble. They get jittery. On third down and three. Patterson slipped down as he handed the football off to Higdon, and Jesse Anabonum made the stop. It's going to be fourth down. On the national watch list, go to ESPN.com slash Taco Bell to see how your school can compete. Here's Shane Patterson to throw as all sorts of time, and he's a wide open set Gentry. Darnell Savage was there, but not until it was too late. Catches at Northwestern last week, all resulting in a first down, and he's back at it here. From the Maryland 24, back to Higdon, and he's dropped by Trey Watson. Trey Watson. The three on the play. It's kind of where they were on that fourth and one play. On second and seven. There's Patterson. Throwing it out of bounds, one off a player's hand, and deflected away. Part of the football terminology these days. He's down around the line of scrimmage right now. It's a high compliment. On third and seven. Patterson throws. McCune, can he get to the sticks? He can't. Antoine Brooks came up to make sure of it. On the culture of Maryland football still to come. And after receiving those results, the university will then decide the future of coach DJ Quinn. Quinn Nordeen from 34 yards away. They could, could present to the Maryland Board of Regents coming up on the 19th of this month. Jake Moody kicks it away. Ty Johnson will give it a go from the goal line. Down the sideline. Ty Johnson. Ty Johnson down the sideline. And he will go all the way. And what Maryland fans want to hear, two words. No flags. 98 yards to the house in the big house. Extra point is through from Joseph Petrino, who has yet to miss on the season. And with 70 seconds left in this first quarter, place has gone silent. 7-3, Maryland. Got hit the bottom of your screen now. Patterson feeling that lonely feeling. Now he has some company in the backfield. And he'll get out, throw on the run. And it is tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the turnover now. Savage staying on his feet. And a flag comes in late after the interception. He was very close to the sideline. Off the turnover. Come the Terps at midfield. Already leading 7-3. to three. Final 13 seconds to play in the first quarter. It's Ty Johnson on the straight handoff for five. Seven minutes. All sorts of weather issues. Heavy rain. Lightning. Thunder. And now Todd McShay reports it's hot on the field. <laughs> on second and six. It's Ty Johnson. He just Ty sparked Johnson. the Maryland offense with that 98-yard kick return. Third down and four. Hill to throw. And he was just throwing it away. Sails it into the Michigan bench. And it bring up a fourth down. Three tight ends in for Michigan. Ben Mason in the house as well. And that is Mason. Out to the 10-yard line. Isaiah Davis brought him down. Second down and four. It's an outside pressure. Michigan runs away from that pressure with Karan Higdon. I, I bet Michigan is never a homecoming opponent, right? 
Yeah, probably you, you not. You would not be that guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it works the other way. <laughs> Maryland is the homecoming opponent. Maybe not for long. Third down and one. On the ground. Hickman has first down yardage. Confidence in the line of scrimmage, and that's what we want to see from this week. Hickman just over five yards per carry. On his 10 carries so far. They'll go Hickman again. This Michigan offensive line has Second been. Seven. There's Patterson to throw. Has all sorts of time. Airs it out down the field. Nico Collins. And a flag comes in. Two flags fly. And Collins hauled it in with Tino Ellis on him, along with Darnell Savage. But what really stood out to me standing right behind him is how patient Shea Patterson was. He had protection. He didn't have to run out of the, the, the out of the pocket. And as a result of just being patient and staying inside, he was able to wait for his receiver That's to get open down the field, Grease. Defense number seven. Loop runner or route runner, depending upon how you say that. <laughs> Leads the team in receiving yards, and he'll add to that. Loop route, tomato, tomato. They're going to throw it. It's Perry, the throw. Under throw for Sean McCune. Grant Perry. <laughs> makes the throw. They work on this all week in practice. Here he's going to come around the reverse, and here's the tight end. But you work all week in practice, and you, you throw it perfectly in practice, and then you get out here and you just pull the string. <laughs> Would have been an easy touchdown for McEwen. Great job of him coming back and making the catch. Perry's going to want that back. <laughs> There's a reason he's playing receiver. <laughs> not everybody can play quarterback <laughs> at Michigan. First down and ten. Hand off Hickman. Running backwards. Pounds it inside the ten yard line. To Collins, the big play. It is Hickman. Down to the five. Trey Watson brought him down. Hickman behind him. First down, and he's down to the one-yard line of Maryland. Mason in front of Higdon. First and goal is Higdon. Wow, he was thumped in the middle. He was bounced back the other way. Mason behind Patterson. Give it to the big fella. And he's able to crash into the end zone. He runs through Trey Watson that time. Touchdown, Michigan. What an impressive answer from Michigan. They turned the football over on the previous drive, then they're backed up inside their five-yard line. They get the big play down the field to Collins, and then nothing but physical Ben Mason for the touchdown. It's Ty Johnson this time, and he is met immediately by the Michigan defense. Piglin stays in there. And a handoff. A yard on the play. It's Teon Fleet Davis. Third down to 19. Piglin still in there. Able to throw and hit Jarvis Davenport. Well short of a marker, Tyree Cannell made the stop to watch. Worth the price of admission. Michigan with the lead and the football. Haran Higdon. Haran Higdon. Dropped by Isaiah area. Davis. This is the first Michigan touch since that 95-yard touchdown drive. Take the ball carrier again. See, it looks like he's going to come up just short of the marker. Could be third and one. Isaiah Davis again. Another stop. Slash tight ends they had a year ago, and it looks like they found the year apparent. You know, Trey Watson's looking for Ben Mason. There's third and one. 
and they do find each other. Mason gets just enough for the first down. You talked about the touchdowns. Certainly, he has some elements that can be very effective in this offense. True Wilson, top of your screen now. And he's the only player besides Higgins to get a carry a week ago. But Patterson is throwing and completing to Zach Gentry, second and four. Across midfield. Give it to True Wilson. And you hear the crowd chants of True. Oh, yeah. see, they figured out the, the cut. Actually, have two fullbacks in the game. Jared Wangler is in there along with Ben Mason. Look at this. Oh, now two they're going to feature him. Now, now he's dotting the eye with a fullback in front. <laughs> and we're huddling. What is going on in college football? <laughs> it is Mason. The battering ram for the first half. Two minutes left in the half. Set up the screen for Gentry. Got some blockers in front of him. Zach Gentry dropped down by Trey Watson at the 35 of Maryland. Guess that qualifies. Patterson takes the quick throw. Wide open, had a man. And threw it behind Donovan Peoples Jones. Had him, and then he didn't. This is the fake screen for on the ground. Change it up. It's Higdon. And he has first down yardage. Adam Bonham made the stop. Speaking of tackles, can clock it. Third and three. Patterson going across his body. It's caught. Touchdown. Ronnie Bell. The true freshman from Kansas City. As Patterson took a hit, Savage and Lewis collided. Oh, I think second touchdown of his young career. Extra point is good. Byron Coward will continue to play. 17-7. Second and 13. Let's see how Michigan plays this. Patterson to throw. Maryland only rushing three. Gentry finds a seam in that defense and makes the grab. That's his fifth catch. Plenty of first down yards here right after this play. Gets another halfback. First and 20. Patterson under pressure. Able to scoot away. Shea throwing on the run and completing it's Gentry. His sixth catch. This was the play last week. Contact there. <laughs> Harbaugh said the Big Ten told him this week that there was a mistake, the old after-the-fact apology, which, which coach has run so much. But this does come in a victory. It's Higdon again. Number 13 for Maryland committed a targeting foul. He is disqualified from the game. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. First down, Michigan. I can tell you our old colleague, Ray Lewis, isn't going to be happy about that. That's Rayshad Lewis. That's Ray Lewis' son. Sophomore from Orlando has been ejected from the game for targeting, and it comes early in the third quarter, meaning he'll miss the first half of next week's game. Maryland will host Rutgers. Michigan looking for more with Karan Higdon. Patterson able to get out of there. Shows the good footwork, and he'll fake the pass and then run out of bounds. Ken's family can take that good news that he's back in the game and on the field. Patterson throwing heavy collision. Nico Collins and Rayvon Davis. He has really stepped up for Michigan. See that Maryland defense gets the hole. They get the hold, and Nordine puts it through. Hold them to a field goal from 31 yards away. Single time with, like, balloons and a parade grease. <laughs> Every single time you hop off the bus here in Ann Arbor. Fumble at the goal line. Ty Johnson got to run it out and be brought back. What a mess for Maryland on that one play. So Ty Johnson has to his credit a 98-yard return and a one-yard return 
And he was lucky to get that one yard. I'm not sure why Ty Johnson even attempted to field that because, you know, when you kick that ball in the corner, it's a coffin corner. The only that'll go is a two yard return. Trying to find some breathing room. They get a little bit to work with. Here's Cassidy about the Northwestern quarterback from a week ago. Second down and eight. Maryland on the ground with Fleet Davis. Nothing fleet about it. And there are penalty markers down. Each of the last two games, but able to come back. And today, doesn't even dress out. Evans has missed the last three games now. There's third and nine. On the ground and nothing doing. Not even close. Anthony McFarland. Todd, they've been in the line for a number of years here in Ann Arbor, so they understand what's being said about them outside of this, this program. Patterson. Down it, hit it, checked it down. Makes one man miss. Down the sideline, picks up a block, and into the end zone. There are penalty markers down. You see the block in the back here from Peoples-Jones. That's clear. Excuse me, that, that contact is between Trey Watson and that, to me, that, why is that not targeting? He hits with the crown of the helmet right on the chin of Donovan Peoples-Jones. Here's the call. After review, there are two fouls on the play. The block in the back that we already assessed. There was also a targeting foul on Maryland, number 33. Those fouls will offset. Number 33 will be disqualified for the targeting foul. We'll go back. The ball will be placed at the 43-yard line. First down and 10. Trey Watson, the second on the receiving end of the target. In essence, the penalty's offset, but Watson has been ejected from the game. Grant Perry from Michigan inside the 40-yard line. We'll keep an eye on that. Four and a half to play here in the third. Michigan by 13 with the football. Higdon. Close. Antoine Brooks made the stop. Of 100 to tight end. Set for Michigan. Second man through is Hickton. And he squirts through for the first down. He's going to hit you. So it's a loss of two on the play. Pressure up the middle. Patterson. Elusive. Throw it on the one and completed. It's Peoples Jones. I guess he's fine. Donovan Peoples Jones. Touchdown, Michigan. <laughs> 34 yards for the score. So much. That's his first reception of the game. Extra point is good. 27 to 7 in favor of the Wolverines. Here comes Peoples Jones on a just on a little crossing route. And this is all Shea Patterson extending plays. Some acrobatics in the uh, in the back end. He had a free rusher. This is what they get so excited about with Shea Patterson, his ability to create and to extend plays and keeps his eyes downfield, gets the ball in the playmaker's hands, and he finishes. This wasn't about charity. He's a huge fan of Conor McGregor. <laughs> Imagine FaceTiming with McGregor. Chase Winovich did just that. Hill throws and caught. For the first down, DJ Turner, welcome to the ball game. I think Maryland would take their time. They're going to snap it. On the ground for the touchdown, it's Javon Leak. Had to stop and start, and still able to boot through the extra point. It hasn't worked out at quarterback, but he made the move to, to tight end, and uh, he's, he's figured that out. Now he's contributing to this offense in meaningful ways. Patterson, all sorts of time off the play fake, and now look to scoot out of there. Able to make some people miss. Most of the first down, it's a gain of eight. 
So you wonder why this whole Michigan team loves True Wilson. Well, let me tell you why they love him. Just watch number 13. He doesn't have the football. He's just going to pick up the blitz. That's the best linebacker for Maryland, by the way. I got one down. Let me go get another. Let me get a little piece of that defensive lineman. Get him on the ground, too. That's why they love True Wilson. A great effort play to continue to drive him to the ground. <laughs> He's playing till the whistle. There's no doubt about that. Second down and two now. Patterson, little sidearm throw, able to complete to Ronnie Bell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the ground. Oh, here's Wilson. His timing is impeccable. True Wilson down the sideline. Michigan got it. To kill your own. That'll be an actual night game next Saturday night. Wisconsin comes call. That'll be great. Saturday night prime time on ABC. Patterson looking to get out of there. Buys himself some time. It's True Wilson. And the flags fly. Face mask. Three touchdowns in the last four possessions for Michigan. The other possession was a field goal. So they're getting points. Patterson to Jared Wangler for the score. Fullback on the receiving touchdown. Well, you got to feel good for Jared Wangler, the fifth-year senior, the son of the great Johnny Wangler, the legendary quarterback here at Michigan. He's, he's put his time in. He has played all kind of positions on this team. Special teams guy, fullback. An opportunity to, to get in there and play some meaningful snaps. This is not just garbage stuff because he's a meaningful part mm -hmm. of this offense along with Ben Mason. He's the, the other fullback on the team. Wagner and Mason are both in there for the two-point conversion. It's Mason time. Making it look easy. Nobody wants a piece there of Ben Mason. I mean, that's a big boy. That's a big man. 6'3", 255 pounds, and he can run. You can see him. He's got some... As Brandon Watson returns the pick six for the score for Michigan. This fourth quarter has been about these fifth-year seniors making plays. Wangler catches a touchdown from the fullback position, and now it's fifth-year senior Brandon Watson steps in front of the Kasim Hill throw and returns the pick six for a touchdown. For the touchdown. Extra point is through. And it's going to be a happy homecoming weekend for these Wolverines. Laying it on thick on Maryland. 42-14, Wolverines. That's, that's what needs to happen, much more so than, than a Shane Patterson. On the ground, Pigram running right up the middle. Tyrell Pigram. And he'll be brought down at the 22-yard line. In the first nine quarters of the season. Actually won another game, but didn't win after that. On the ground, Fleet Davis stepped out of bounds. We'll see where they'll mark him. They'll mark him down at the five. He's back in. He's okay. First down and goal. Ball Pigram faking everyone out. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Tyrell Pigram puts it through. Max Bordenschlager. Chris and Kirk and Maria will take over the big house next Saturday night when Wisconsin comes calling for the primetime game on ABC. What a great game that, that will be, right? Jonathan Taylor and company Alex Hornibrook. It should be a fantastic primetime game. Terrific test for the Wolverines one week from tonight. Final score here in Ann Arbor, 42-21. Homecoming weekend for Michigan, a success.